So, one rider here. I've been practicing with the uh, sword and buckler. And one of the things I've noticed is that the buckler itself is actually a little bit the worse for wear. This is the uh, nine inch um, buckler I got from uh, Cult of Athena. And the handle that attaches to it, I don't know if you can see that movement there, it's actually a little loose. Uh, the way this is made, uh, the handle is a tube that's flattened and then riveted in place. And because it's flattened so much, uh, basically it's weakened. So I'm gonna actually have to modify this at some point. Uh, what I'm looking at is uh, a wooden bar. I'm gonna have to grind off the back of these rivets and either put rivets of my own design in or uh, screws and bolts, nuts and bolts, something like that, um, in their place. And I'm thinking uh, put a wooden bar across the back to hold it in place. Uh, I may also at some point get another buckler. Um, I'm curious about the size of a slightly larger one. Uh, this is a nine inch buckler, which is pretty darn small. Um, and a, well, a small one I think is actually uh, more ideal for learning sort of buckler in the sense that um, it's easier to move around and interact with the sword without the buckler basically getting in its own way or in the sword's way. Um, you know, if I was to actually fence with a buckler, would I want a nine inch one? Um, in retrospect, I'm thinking, despite what I said before, that I might actually want a slightly larger one. I might want an 11 or 12 inch one. Uh, certainly wouldn't hurt to try. They're, they're inexpensive enough. So uh, that's something that's on my list. But what I am gonna wanna do at some point is fix this one. Um, so if you can regard this as sort of a follow-up review to the store-bought buckler. Uh, the buckler's great, I love it, but the handle sucks. So. One rider